Hiya! Welcome to Unboxing with me, Kathy, And I'm going to be unboxing the Neurotrack Rehab for you. There are a number of Neurotrack devices, but I've chosen to use the Rehab in my practice for five reasons. Three are mainly because of the customizability of the device and the last two reasons are really more client related. So the first reason that I've chosen to use it is that it has a customizable e-STEM program. So there are some presets and then there's the customizable one where you can change all the um, parameters. The second reason is that there are two channels. So I can have two muscle groups um, working at the same time or I can have one group and then another group. The third reason is the remote switch because this way I can control the muscle activation. I can have it on or off when I want it and that's just great for um, functional electrical stimulation when you're doing a functional activity. So the fourth reason that I've chosen it is that it's quite a reasonable cost and that's very important I find when I'm asking clients to purchase a piece of equipment themselves if they haven't got funding for it. And the fifth and last reason is that it's fairly easy to use and most of my clients have learned to use it after some coaching and practice and they're happy to take it home and extend their therapy that way. Okie doke, well that's all the reasons so let's get into the actual unboxing. You ready? Let's go. I'll start by going through the features on the outside of the box and then we'll get inside. You can see that it offers both transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or TENS and neuromuscular stimulation or ESTIM for short. And the difference between these is that TENS is usually used for pain and NMS or ESTIM is used to stimulate muscle activation. The main features are also shown here on the front. So there are 10 preset TENS programs. There are nine preset eSTEM programs. And there are two customizable TENS programs and one customizable eSTEM program. Together with um, a remote switch, which you can use to activate the work rest stimulation shown here on the side. Now comes the fun stuff, opening the box, but before I do that I need to make a disclaimer that the information I'm providing is really for orientation to the Neurotrack Rehab device only. It's not sufficient information for actually applying electrical stimulation to a client without further training. Well here we go, I've opened the box and I am totally obsessed with the with reusing these good quality plastic bags with a ziplock opening. It's amazing what they can be used for. Extra bits of velcro or strapping in my travel splinting bag, scissors, tape measure, etc. Lovely velcro opening noise there as we get to look inside. So the first thing is the operator's manual and that's quite extensive. These are the electrodes, they're 5 cm by 5 cm square electrodes. This is a quick start instruction leaflet. The device itself the remote switch, two sets of electrode leads and a battery, 9 volt battery. 
So now I'll run through how quick and easy it is to um, actually set this up. And I usually do this together with the clients just so that they can see how easy it is as well. So open up the back. There's a little bit of protector tape on the battery. This is me trying to figure out which is positive and which is negative. Actually, it's very easy because One of the electrodes is bigger than the other, so it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> a bit slow on the uptake there. Close the back already. There are three ports at the top of the device. Port A on the right, corresponding to the right buttons, and port B on the left, and the plug for the remote switch in the middle. I always start by plugging a lead in port A to remind myself to use the buttons on the right hand side. And now I'm going to turn it on and you can see how the display lights up. I'm going to set the program now which you can see in the top right hand corner. So I use that program escape button. These are all presets. You can see the numbers changing on the left as well. And here I am, program 15. That's the customizable program for eSTEM. Now I'm ready to set the parameters. So here's the set button. And have a look, watch for that hertz. Should take three to four seconds of pressing the button. So press one, two, three, about three seconds and you can see the Hertz is flashing. So now I can set that parameter by using the plus and minus buttons. So plus to increase and minus to decrease. So Hertz is about the frequency of stimulation or the number of electrical pulses per second. So I'm not setting it up as I would for a client. I'm just showing you how it would work. So higher frequencies lead to stronger muscle contractions. When I'm ready, I push set again and I move on to the next parameter, which is the milliseconds. So milliseconds relate to the length of the electrical waveform or the pulse width so that's the time span that the electrical current or pulse is flowing. Again, use the plus and minus. Oh, look, I did it. <laughs> I nearly went to the wrong side. <laughs> use the plus and minus buttons. When you've got it where you want it, you press set and it brings me to the timer in the top right there. And you can increase or decrease. It goes up to 90 minutes. Press set again. And here's the work symbol flashing. So work refers to the number of seconds of muscle work or contraction or activation. So for example, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. So the work period can be set from one to 99 seconds. Next, rest, the resting time between muscle contractions. So it can also be set from one to 99 using the plus and minus buttons to adjust it. Set again, this is ramp up. This is the slow or ramped increase of stimulation up to the muscle working time or activation. If you didn't have the ramp up time, then the muscle activation would suddenly be on at full amplitude or stimulation or suddenly off in the case of ramp down. So again, use the plus and minus buttons to move up or down and then set will bring you to ramp down. And again, you use the side buttons to determine how long you want that to be. 
press set again. Now you can see that SYN is flashing on the screen. That stands for synchronous. And what that means is that both channels are set to stimulate together or synchronously. So for example, if you'd like the client to reach forwards, you might put electrodes on triceps and anterior deltoid at the same time. And so those two muscle groups would come on synchronously. Whereas alternate, ALT, is where one group of muscles is switched on then the other. So an example here might be triceps to reach and biceps to bend the elbow. So you move, you change from synchronous to alternate by pushing the plus button. The last setting is delay, DLY, used as a rest period between one group of muscles activating and the next group coming on. And ta-da! You've done it. You've set up your device. So now you can push Program Escape or you can turn it off and all the settings will remain. And now you are ready to put the electrodes on your client. I'm not actually going to put the electrodes on because this isn't a clinical video. But just for completeness, I'm going to switch it on so that you can see the cycles running and I'll also use the remote switch. Turn the device on. You can see it's on zero milliamps. Increase the milliamps. Now it will only go to four now because I haven't got it attached to somebody. If I had it attached to myself or somebody else, it would go up to whatever I wanted to do, 20 or 30 or whatever. Now did you see then it went, I did four and now it's going down again and then it'll go up, there you go, and then it'll go down again. So it's cycling through that the settings that we put in. You remember we put in the work, the rest, the ramp up, the ramp down. So if you counted all those seconds, it would be cycling through those parameters. So it would be on for four seconds or whatever we put it on for then it would ramp down. Now it would be resting for 3, ramp up for 0 0.8, work for 4, ramp down for 1.2, and on it would go until we turned it off. Now I'll plug in the remote switch, so into that middle point, switch the device on. Now you can see it's on 0, milliamps, I increase it to whatever I would usually have it on. This point is only going to go for four. Now it will stay on. You can see it's not cycling through. And that's because I've got the switch plugged in. So it will stay, the milliamps will stay on, the current is on, until I click this, the remote switch. So here we go. And it's off. Now it'll I click it again and it'll ramp up through all our settings. It'll stay on though until I click it off. So I click it off and the muscle is no longer activated. So this is great for if you want somebody to open their hand or reach at a particular time. And when you finish your session, simply turn your device off. And there you go. That's unboxing the NeuroTrack Rehab. Until next time, see ya.